Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Morgan. I'm so happy you're here. And if you haven't yet, I would love if you would subscribe to help my channel grow. Today, I'm going to be talking about my New Year's resolutions. And also my birthday is January 10th. So I kind of feel like I turn a year older when the year changes too. So I feel like a double responsibility to set new goals, new intentions for myself. Um, I don't necessarily like the word resolutions because I think like resolutions has a connotation to it that they like fail, which I think a high percentage of a high percentage of revolution resolutions do fail. However, I just want to set new intentions, new goals um, for my birthday and for the new year. So that's why I'm posting this um, quite a few days into the new year. Um, I just sat down and thought about, you know, what I wanted to talk to you guys about and then like to myself because I go back and I watch these videos in the, fu uh, in the future to kind of see how consistent I stayed and if I stuck with it. So I'm a huge person about um, consistency. I like to be consistent with everything I do and any goal I make I like to follow through with. So I'm going to quickly go through like my new year's goals with you guys. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's not that many. Um, and yeah, they're kind of general. Um, and they've been actually things that I've been thinking about for a couple months now that I want to incorporate into my life. And I feel like the new year and my birthday kind of just gives me the push to take action. So, um, also I'm in my new room. If you haven't seen it yet, I don't know when I'm posting this video, but, uh, yeah. So <laughs> we're moving and it's a work in progress. It's all white, not yellow anymore. And, um, I'm still working on like putting up decor. So that's why it looks kind of plain in here. So first goal is, um, simplicity and less is more. So this is like all in one. Over the past couple of months, I don't even understand why, but I just crave like simple things, like simple colors, simple decor. As you can see, like you guys know what my dorm looks like. Like I just like like whites and cream tone colors. And then I also like plants, like for a little pop of color. I just think like with my outfits, I do less now. And with like my hair and makeup, I just do less. Like everything is so much more natural. And so I feel like that's an intention I wanna set going into 2022, especially with like a new space. And yeah, next is a very general one too. And that is to grow in my faith. I've been like talking to you guys a little bit about how I um, have formed a closer relationship with Jesus and I want to keep working on that. I got my new Bible for Christmas so I'm gonna start reading that. I haven't started yet because it's just been so hectic with like moving into the new house. But yeah, I want to grow in my faith and be more intentional about spending time with God and not to be ashamed of my faith at all and really embrace it. So um, next one is to learn about and nourish my body so i really just like when people say like i want to eat healthy like if that's like your goal like you do you but my thing is like eating healthy is such a broad term and i guess like nourishing your body like the words to me just mean like listening to your own personal body because i think that everyone has their unique ways um of food and activity that work different for them so just kind of figuring out um understanding my body more and what it needs what it doesn't want um really listening to like how hungry i am like not um i have a huge i would say my biggest problem with food is like portion control like i eat a lot at one time and so i'm trying to like s do smaller portions and then only eat when i can tell that my body is hungry like not just eating for like an activity so i want to learn more about my body and stay active in that way all right next is don't compare and confidence so i i'd like to think that I do a pretty good job at not comparing myself to other people. But I think like once you get to college, there's just so many unique people. You're like, wow, I wanna be like that. And I wanna be like that. And um, I just need to be me. So I guess no one, no one like 
in my world puts the pressure on me, I put the pressure on myself. And I honestly don't do it that much, but I'll catch myself in little moments that I'm like, don't compare yourself to other people. So with that, I think comes confidence. I just want to be confident in my decisions, confident in the way I carry myself. Um, and I think that can affect your mindset so much and take you a long way. All right, another thing, um, this is kind of like a smaller thing, but eye contact, interrupting, and swearing. So these are all like communication ways. So I don't, I don't know if I notice it from just talking on YouTube to you guys or just like in general, but I've noticed it over the past couple um, months that I struggle to make eye contact with people when I'm talking to them. My brain just works so fast. And I also like interrupt people and I think I notice it like more than other people do. Like it's just something I'm a little bit self-conscious about. So I just want to make sure that when people are talking to me that I'm making eye contact with them and I'm not interrupting them and really listening to like what they have to say. Uh, so it doesn't come across as rude, even though that's like never my intention. And then also like I want to try to eliminate as much like swearing as possible, just like try not to do it. I feel like it's become a negative habit and I just need to try to end it now. So, all right, next one is to not always plan. I struggle with this. Um, you guys know I'm a very organized person. So like planning things, I get, um, I get really frustrated with myself if I don't like stick to the exact plan that I wanted for the day. Um, so like people in my life, like my mom and Trent, um, are just very like go with the flow easygoing people so I'm trying I I still want to keep like my organization but I think sometimes I'm too rigid on keeping my organization so I just really want to focus on like going with the flow at times that I don't always need to be like all put together and organized all right last one is um grace and love and love and grace like i feel like simplicity love and grace are like my three words for the new year um i want to eliminate i think just in human nature everyone judges everyone and i just i don't i don't want to gossip about people i don't want to talk negatively or judge people it's just something that comes naturally through our society so I really just want to focus on like all the good things people do in my life and not necessarily like any negative qualities people have because no one is perfect including me like I know I do things that you know other people are frustrated by um that they can focus on but they choose to focus on my good qualities so I want to do the same for others and then love just like love everything around me be so passionate about life about the people around me about the relationships I form and then I talked about simplicity earlier. So I know this was like a shorter video, but I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll be posting a little bit more frequently now. Uh, it just got so busy with moving and then like Christmas and everything like that. It was just, it was just a lot. So now hopefully I'm back on track and yeah. So happy new year, everyone. Um, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye guys. Mwah.